Okie dokie. Good morning. Um, and my name is Lauren. I am your host. I'm a wife. I'm a mama of two with one on the way. I'm a nurse. And I've been using essential oils for about five years. It's just, I'm going to have to look up the date because I know I'm very close to my five year oil anniversary, as they call it. Um, I have been using, I uh, started using essential oils. Um, a friend of mine introduced me to them after I asked her if she had an option for a skin issue I was having on my foot. But we saw the biggest change in our life when we started using them to support our immune system about three or so years ago. Um, we, after learning some more from our education group, we started being more diligent about getting toxic ingredients out of our home and out of the personal care products we were using. Um, and we started being, just making it more of a habit and a pattern to use the essential oils we already had in our, from Young Living in our home and on our bodies. And the change we saw was amazing. We went from having what I call a domino effect of winter illness. We used to have like one person would get a cold and the other kiddo would get a cold and my husband would, you know, and it would just cycle through all of us until it seemed to work its way out and we would get the new thing. That was our previous normal common winter, what we experienced. Um, but when we started using our essential oils more regularly and when we paid more attention to the ingredients in the products that we were bringing into our home and putting onto our body, we found that we were hardly ever under the weather. We have not in the past three years all come down with the same thing um, since then. Usually if someone is a little bit under the weather, they're under the weather for a couple days and no one else gets it. That's our new normal. And I can tell you it is so much better. Um, and my husband also works in healthcare. So it's not because we're just hiding at home. Like we are still exposed to things and we have been so much healthier than we were previously. And it, that change being so dramatic was what prompted me to start teaching and sharing what we were doing because I wanted people to know, Hey, there are tools, <laughs> there are options. You don't have to just suffer when things come your way, which we, you know, we both had medical, I'm a nurse, my husband's a physician, we both had medical training. We didn't know that these tools were out there to support our bodies and make them stronger and better able to fight against illness, but there are. Um, and so that is one of my biggest passions now is telling people that these tools are there. Um, and teaching about the ingredients that are in our products, because I'm going to go into this, but Many of the ingredients in our traditional store shelf products, whether for our home or for our body, contain ingredients that are making us sick and actively fighting against our body. That's another thing I did not know until the last five years, but it has made a huge change. So we're going to talk about some of that today, and we're going to talk about, um, we are going to talk about, sorry, I just realized I'm like, I need to have up on here if anyone else tries to come into this class. Um, we're going to talk about exactly how to use some of these to support your body as well. Personally, I love the science behind using essential oils, how they work, think, how they interact with our body. But just like we know that the more fruits and vegetables and whole foods we eat, the healthier our bodies are, I'm going to make multiple essential oils all come from plants. So I'm going to make multiple comparisons to just the plants that we eat and using essential oils today. And that's what we need to think about. We don't need to get bogged down on knowing exactly what or how they work because our body knows. Just like we don't know exact, we don't have to know exactly what broccoli does to our cells to eat it, you know, or how a strawberry is going to increase the vitamin C in our body. It's great if we know that, but we get the benefits just by eating them. Same with oils. We're going to get the benefits just by using them. So it's fun to know those things but it's not a requirement before you start using them. Let's start with what an essential oil actually is. So an essential oil is basically the lifeblood of whatever plant it comes from. All essential oils come from some sort of plant. They are distilled plant matter. So that can be, it comes from different parts of the plant depending on the plant. It could come from flowers, for example, like rose essential oils from the flower petal. It could come from a citrus rind. For example, lime, lemon, tangerine, grapefruit. They come from the rind of the fruit. Um, it could come from tree bark in the example of, I think, cedar trees. Cedarwood, I think, is one that comes from the bark. 
can also come from the entire tree or leaves of a herb. Um, it just depends on the plant. But in these plants, when they're alive, the essential oil in them functions a little bit like blood does in our human body. And what I mean by that is it's a fluid that transports nutrients and energy and helps promote growth and healing. Um, our blood does that in our bodies, and that's what essential oils do in plants. They help them do things like protect from infection or fight attacks from predators like bugs. Um, it helps them grow or heal injured parts of the plants. Now, if we break apart a part of a plant, for example, if you're zesting a lemon or if you are cutting down your Christmas tree um, or you are rolling some peppermint leaves or lavender buds from your garden in your hand, when you smell that aromatic compound that's released, that is the essential oil. That stuff you smell is the essential oils. Um, and so, like I said, essential oils have a lot of benefits to the plants themselves, kind of like blood in our bodies. But when we distill the essential oil out of the plant and use it in, on, and around our bodies, it has a lot of these same healing properties. It can help us fight off attacks or um, not so much insect manifestations, but, you know, um, bacteria, viruses, things that are attacking our bodies. It can help heal and regenerate our tissues. Um, it can help us with our mental health from inhaling it and all kinds of things. I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper. Now, essential oils are not new. They have been around since biblical times. There's tons of references in the Bible of um, essential oils, actually, which is amazing. For example, that verse that says, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Hyssop is a plant um, and you can extract the essential oil from it. It has a lot of cleansing properties. Similar to references of frankincense, myrrh, things like that. Um, that's the resin or essential oil of the plant. And it works similarly to frankincense or myrrh essential oil that we have today. Now, they've been around for a long time, but it is a bit more recent and more common that you can see things labeled essential oils on almost any store that you go to. Now, they're not all created the same. There are a lot of reasons that I only use and trust essential oils from Young Living. And we're going to talk about that. I have somebody I'm going to let into this class. Um, hi, Michelle. Welcome. I just started sharing a little bit about what essential oils are. I am recording this class, just so you know, and I'll make sure to get the link to you so you can catch the beginning afterwards. Um, but what I was just saying is essential oils are basically the lifeblood of the plant they come from, and they've been around since the biblical times and longer. Um, but Young Living is the only company I trust, and there's about a lot of reasons why. So I'm a big proponent in general in life of reading your labels on anything you're going to use in your home or consume in your body. So whether that is like what type of material your clothing is made of or what's in your lotion or what's in the can of soup that you're going to make for dinner, read your labels. Essential oils are the same. Just because it says something on the front, like 100% pure, or it says jasmine, essential oil, always turn around to the back and look at the ingredients list. If something that says pure, which is not a regulated term, pure essential oil on the front, has something like vegetable oil, olive oil, canola oil on the back, that bottle is not pure plant-based essential oil. It's been diluted with something, and the manufacturers were probably hoping you wouldn't notice. That is part of the reason there is such a huge difference in the range of prices of essential oil. Um, but you need to think about this, right? A hamburger from McDonald's is not going to be prepared the same way as a steak at a nice dine-in restaurant, right? We all know that. We know that the beef is farmed differently. It's manufactured differently. It's different quality. Essential oils, just like food or any other product, if they are available to be sold cheaply, they had to be made cheaply. So what are some of the ways some companies do that? What are some of the differences? Some companies distill oil from low quality plants. Some companies use tons of pesticides, herbicides, insecticides all over their farms to have a higher crop. But that stuff is really bad for our bodies, especially in concentrated amounts. When you're distilling that essential oil out, anything you have sprayed on that plant is coming with it. I don't want to put that on my body. I don't want to diffuse it in my home. I certainly don't want to ingest it. Um, some companies don't farm ethically, whether that means they're not treating the earth well or they're not treating their employees well. Some companies do something called multiple distillations. And this is not just like 
you know, craft store fragrance. There are even more well-known companies that do this. Young Living does not. Multiple distillations is like putting your coffee grounds or your tea bag in water, then taking it out, putting it in another mug of water, in another mug of water, in another mug of water, like five to six to seven times. So we all know that the cup of tea or the pot of coffee, if you use those same grounds or same tea bag over and over and over again, the quality of the beverage coming out is not going to be the same, right? So some people do that with plant matter to distill multiple distillations of essential oil. Young Living only bottles and sells their first distillation. Just like when you go to a nice coffee shop or tea place, you're getting one cup. They're not using it all day long. Young Living slogan, which you can see on our website, um, on this starter kit box right here, all over the, they have a website, literally you can, it's called Seed to Seal. And that is a quality commitment. Um, they talk a lot about it on their website. It's basically that they care about quality from the seed that goes into the ground on the farm to the plant that grows up to the way that the plant matter is distilled to it going into the bottle to the seal, seed to seal around the top of the bottle. Ultimately, Young Living has been around, I think about 27 years now, and their primary goal is being the best of the best and getting essential oils into every home. Their goal is not their financial bottom line because if it were, they would cut a lot of corners but they are experts in the farming, distillation, and bottling of what they do. They've been around the longest. I've been with this company as a customer um, and a distributor, a customer for about five years, a distributor for about three. And they continue to surprise and delight me with how their quality is, their customer services, their generosity is. They do not cut corners, you guys. It's amazing. Um, I am going, this is something I'm going to share about in a second, but I'm going to just tell you now. Anybody can visit their farms. Their transparency is amazing. I have friends who have been to multiple of their farms all over the world, and I am planning to go in 2021 this year. I'm so excited. Um, so Young Living's oils and any of the ingredients in any of their products, because they have much more than just essential oils, are only sourced from farms that meet their specific standards. And a lot of the farms are owned by the company. So some of my favorite things, like I said, you know, they don't, do multiple distillations. They don't use chemical fertilizers and pesticides and insecticides. They hand weed all their plants and they pay ethical wages for that. So that's going to cost something, right? But I love that they are so responsible and caring to do that. Um, in, I think their Utah lavender farm and definitely their, Fran their France lavender farm, they have sheep that live in the fields. The sheep like to eat the weeds, but they don't like lavender. So they help with the weeds and then, you know, they kind of <laughs> poop out a great fertilizer. That's not a conventional farming practice, but it's good for animals, for people, for the earth, for the plants. It's awesome. I love that they do those creative type of things. Um, like I said, anyone can visit their farms or distilleries, typically. It's a little bit weird with COVID restrictions the last year and a half, but typically anybody can visit. They are extremely transparent and they are the only company out there that is like that. Uh, so, as I said, Young Living is going to be far from the cheapest available, but they are going to absolutely be the best available. We have the option, we get to vote with our wallets, right, when we say, I support ethical wages, I support treating the earth well, and I want things that are good for my body. So, when we support a company like this, those are the business practices we're supporting. I want to tell you a story that I experienced a couple summers ago. Um, we live in southern Michigan and we like driving to northern Michigan for summer vacations and there's a lavender farm up in northern Michigan that I have enjoyed visiting. Um, they have a little shop. I've bought some herb like herb and spice blends from them things like that. So I noticed the last time that I was there that they had bottles of essential oil for sale in their gift shop. Um, so I said that's um, you know I could see these lavender fields behind the shop. I asked her I said that's amazing. Where is your distillation facility? Tell me about how you pick it and distill it. Um, I assumed the oil for sale was from their farm that I could see. She says, oh, we don't make enough lavender to make essential oil. We just order this online to have it available in the shop. I said, oh, well, do you, like, where's it grown? Do you know anything about that? She couldn't tell me. <laughs> she couldn't tell me anything about it. Um, I was, Frankly, I was really disappointed. 
Um, but the trickiest thing is if I hadn't known the questions to ask, who would have known? You think that you're at this local farm stand and what you're seeing is from, you know, what the farm you can see, but that's not always the case. I want to contrast this. I have other friends who are vegetable farmers. They used to live in my neighborhood. They now live about 25 minutes away. We can go visit their farm whenever they we want. We purchase vegetables through a community supported agriculture program in the summer with them. Um, we can go see it. We see the weeds growing. We see them pulling the weeds out. We know that they don't have facilities to like spray a bunch of stuff. I know that they did a ton of soil testing before they even put in an offer on and purchase that property. That's, and I know they feed their vegetables to their own kids and let their kids run around out there barefoot. Um, that's the type of food I want in my body. That's the type of business I want to support. Um, the farm up in Northern Michigan, like I said, is not the only place that sells essential oils without any information it was made. Unfortunately, Young Living really is one of the only companies that will tell you about their farming and how their product is made. An acquaintance of mine actually called, I think, the 12 biggest essential oil companies a couple years ago. If you want to see this article, I can send it to you. But she called all their customer service lines and asked about their farming practices, if she could visit the farms, things like that. Most of the people on the line had no idea how their product was made, where it was made, where it was purchased from. They couldn't tell her anything, and none of that was available on their websites either. Um, and like I said, this is why I only trust Young Living, because they give me the information that I want and need to know about something going on in my body. And I love that transparency. So if I'm going to boil it down, what are the three biggest reasons that this is where I get my essential oils? Um, hundreds of personal experiences that I have had with my family now that they work, they do what they say they're going to do. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but whether it's mood lifting, immune system strengthening, um, helping with headaches or tummy aches, whatever, these oils work the way they're supposed to. And we've experienced that time and time and time again. They are amazing tools. Um, the second reason is that transparency that I just shared about that is second to nobody. And the third reason is their generosity. They're an extremely generous company. Um, they bend over backwards to give things away to their loyal customers for free. They have the best rewards program of anything I've ever seen on the market. I personally order monthly from them and get 25% back of that order in points that I can use for store credit. Um, and this is not just essential oils. I buy the things that my family would have needed at Target or Meyer. I get things like my makeup and cough drops and chest rub, dish soap, tea, non uh, I said non-toxic makeup, um, my body lotion, my kids' shampoo, things like that. They literally have something for every need and every life stage, um, and their products help our bodies work the way it's supposed to. They're not making us sick from the inside out because, like I mentioned a little bit, um, a lot of the things that are on store shelves are full of dyes. They're full of artificial fragrances. They have ingredients that mess with our body's natural hormones. They are making us sick, partially because those ingredients are so unnatural to our body that they are immune, they're bogging down our immune system and it can't function at its real capacity. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. So that's a bit about what oils are. That's a bit about why Young Living is the place to get them. How do you actually use them? So there's three ways. I said in, on, and around your body, but you could also call that aromatically. So by inhaling them through the air, whether um, you're using a diffuser like this one, or you're just inhaling it out of the bottle. Topically, that's applying to your skin. And then internally, so that's just like it sounds, you can use some essential oils, not all essential oils, but you can use some as a dietary supplement, um, either in a capsule or already in a dietary supplement. You can put them, you can use some of them to flavor your food and beverages when you're cooking etc. Um, when I teach about how to use essential oils, I like to use the terms the short game and the long game. And this is really relevant when it's, we're talking about using them to stay well. So when I say the short game, I mean things that are temporary and time limited, but are really bugging you. Maybe it's a headache or a skin rash or, or muscle tension, something that's unpleasant and we want to get better as soon as possible. Um, it could look like a cough that's making it difficult to sleep at night. Any of those, like our family's domino effect of winter illness is things I would call short game. Um, essential oils have tons of tools to help us with the short game. They can also help us with what I like to call the long game. And that is things like 
what a lot of us in our country are suffering with. So it's not normal, but it is more and more common to see people suffering from things like autoimmune diseases, infertility, GI issues, cancer, diabetes. These things are common, but they're not normal. Um, they are, and most of them are effects of the environment we live in. So there's a saying that our genetics load the gun, but our environment pulls the trigger. And that's kind of a crude analogy, but really what it means is the things that our body are exposed to affect how certain things in our genetic, our genes or our genetic makeup are expressed. It's well known and published. I think a lot of people don't know this, but it is well published that most cancers are 90% related to either lifestyle or environmental factors. And it's 10% or less that are just because of genetics. Um, so I've mentioned a couple times, a lot of the products on our shelves are making us sick. The traditional impact, do you guys know this? The traditional impact of cleaning products on a woman's lungs is equivalent or the same as smoking 20 cigarettes a day. That is insane. I grew up in an environment where like people talked all the time about how smoking was dangerous for your health. Um, nobody talked about cleaning your bathroom as, as bad for your health as smoking. I learned that a couple years ago and it blew my mind. And part of the, and that study was done a couple years ago. So to imagine what it looks like now, as people have been hyper vigilantly cleaning and cleansing trying to, not cleansing, but trying to clean or disinfect their environment for the last year, I imagine those statistics are not better. Um, if you think about what they're spraying at every grocery cart or between every checkout customer at stores. Um, so part of this reason is in the United States, you can look at your labels on a lot of products. And if you see the term perfume or fragrance, that is a legally protected term that uh, manufacturers and distributors are not required to disclose what is in that. It's considered a trade secret. So they could put hundreds of toxic, well-known toxic chemicals in their fragrance makeup and just call it fragrance. They don't have to disclose to buyers what is in there. There have been some studies done that 80% of these are have never been tested for safety. Um, Many of these ingredients are well known to disrupt our body's natural hormones. Many of them are directly linked to varying types of cancers. It is crazy. Um, in fact, there is a well-known cleaning brand that has, I would say, some tricky marketing. They're currently getting sued for dishonestly labeling their products non-toxic. And they're not the only company that does that. I'm glad that they're being held accountable. Um, so most cleaners on the store shelf are pretty harmful to our bodies. What does our family use instead? We use Thieves Cleaner from Young Living. It is effective, it is affordable, it works so well, and it is plant-based. It does not have any of this toxic junk in it. It comes in a bottle and we just use a little, con it's very concentrated. We just need a cap full for a big spray bottle. Um, but this is the thing. We can't just limit this to what we're cleaning our house with. Anything that includes fragrance or perfume, whether it's candles, air fresheners, plugins, the lotion we put on our body, um, anything that has those ingredients in it, hand soap, they are all scented with the same type of toxic chemicals under that term fragrance. So it's not just cleaning stuff. When we're surrounding our bodies with artificial fragrances and artificial dyes, colors, other ingredients like that in our products and our food, our body is working overtime. Our body correctly recognizes those ingredients as foreign invaders. And we know, we have, I have learned, and it's as well known in the science, that those ingredients don't just like come in and go through and come out of our body. They actually accumulate in our body's fat cells. This is something called bioaccumulation. Um, and a ton of them are linked to hormone problems that we have and cancers. But basically, a lot of people don't think about this they also affect our immune system because our immune system is what flags foreign invaders in our body. And so our body is working, when our body's working really hard to fight um, artificial dyes and fragrance ingredients, it doesn't, for example, if you think about it, it doesn't have as many armies available to fight actual sickness or infection because it's so tied up 
being bogged down with those things that aren't supposed to be in our bodies. But here's the best part. We have things we can do about this. This is not just like depressing news about how the rest of our life is going to be. We don't have to live this way. There are good, safe, effective options. We just have to know how to find them, where to look for them. Essential oils do way more than just smell good. Um, remember how I said they're the lifeblood of plants. So in our bodies, they can fight germs. They can promote our health. They can help our cells function the way they're supposed to. They can help the cells of our body get rid of junk, toxic junk that's already in there. It helps um, us, many essential oils help our bodies detoxify that way. Essential oils can help improve our gut health. They can lift our mood and so much more. So like I said, read your labels, become ingredient savvy about how, what you're purchasing with your money and bringing into your home. Um, cleaners, food, personal care products. We are always going to be the best advocate for our health and the health of our families. It's unfortunate, but true. We cannot trust manufacturers, the government, the healthcare system. None of them are going to be responsible to make safe and healthy choices for our family. We are. So we have to learn because they're not disclosing that stuff to us. Um, but when we make the choice to be proactive, to go out and look for the best choice instead of reactive when it comes to taking care of our body, meaning wait till we feel horrible and then do something about it, we're equipping our body to fight. And it's we. I'm so passionate about this, especially the past year, because um, it feels good to feel good, you guys. I can't tell you how much it feels good to feel good. Um, and when we're not bogging our immune system down with foreign stuff, it works the way it's supposed to and it thrives. So some people consider essential oils like a natural or alternative substitute for medication. They can be that in some, ex some instances, but I really prefer the comparison to fruits and vegetables. We know that when we're getting plants in our body or if we have plants in our environment, they cleanse the air, they do tons of good things for our bodies. Plants in all forms are fuel for thriving bodies. So we need to think, how do I get multiple servings of plants multiple times a day in, on, and around my body? So that's both diet choices, but it's also essential oils and the products we're using. Using things that are plant-based is going to go a long way in our health. Um, so when you have essential oils, don't keep them in a box or on a shelf that you never use. I mean, this looks beautiful, but if I never used it, they wouldn't do much for me except be a pretty rainbow in my dining room. Um, but when I'm using them multiple times a day, my body is thriving. Um, so we talked a bit about fragrance, the things we inhale, how it can affect our health. It's also important to just make sure this is clear for everyone. The things we put on our skin, so products that include fragrance like hand soap, hand sanitizer, lotion, shampoo, this stuff goes on our skin. Whatever is going on our skin is going into our bodies and into our bloodstream. So one takeaway that I have mentioned every time I teach this year, please, please, this is an easy change to make. Do not use chemical-based cleaning wipes with your bare hands. Don't do it. I personally suggest not using them at all. Um, a lot of them are used incorrectly. A lot of them have really harmful ingredients. But if you're going to use them on your counter to wipe your grocery cart, whatever, wear gloves. This stuff is not supposed to be absorbed into your body. Now, back to using essential oils topically on our skin. There are a couple different ways you can do that. One of my favorites is making rollers, which I don't have in front of me, but I have nearby. I'm going to grab one. That would look... That would look something like this. This is a glass bottle. You can buy these on Amazon. They have a little roller top. So we put some essential oil and the rest of something called a carrier oil, which is a fatty oil that helps essential oils stay on and intentionally be absorbed to your skin. And then you can use it topically, just like this. This one was a blend called Joy, so it smells nice and flowery. Um, you can also use essential oils without a carrier oil. Many of them, you can use them straight on your skin. Some people like to drop them onto the top of their head. Um, essential oils by themselves, if they're not combined with something fatty, can evaporate quickly from the skin. So that's why, like, if I'm going to spread it over, like, if I have a sore muscle, I'm going to spread something over a big surface area. I'm going to want to combine it with something like coconut or avocado oil. We'll come back to that a little bit more. 
Um, so you can, so we talked about, you can use oils aromatically in the air. You can use them on your skin topically, and you can use some of them internally. Young Living has a line of essential oils that has a white label that looks like this. And this, it's a little hard to read, but this word in the box says vitality. Um, Young Living is the only essential oil company that I know of that is approved for internal dietary usage. Um, and the FDA requires essential oil companies to specifically label whether their product is intended for topical um, or cosmetic or aromatic use or internal dietary supplement use. They won't let you, they won't let the companies label it for all three. And I think that's basically because no other company is safe enough to be used all three ways. Um, this has a certification called grass approval, generally regarded as safe for dietary supplements and internal usage. Um, anything that comes, anything that Young Living sells in the vitality form, like this peppermint, you know you can't, it does have internal usage available. Now I'll tell you, and I'm gonna go through this, in this box, this is the essential oil lavender. This does not on here, this is not a white label on here, it doesn't say vitality on here, but if you look at Young Living's product guide, we make a lavender vitality. People ask a lot, what's the difference between the vitality and the regular? Nothing, just the sticker on the label. Young Living does not change their quality whatsoever. Um, it's just a sticker to be in compliance. So personally, can do I feel comfortable ingesting regular lavender? Yeah, same oil, different sticker. Do I feel comfortable using this Vitality peppermint in a roller or on my skin or in my diffuser? Yes, same thing, different sticker. I hope that makes sense. Um, one of the other reasons that we use a lot of, we use essential oils internally, or one of the ways I should say, um, is through some of the supplements that we take from Young Living. Young Living has a really robust um, research and de scientific development department, and they have done multiple studies that show that, for example, with, we have a vitamin C supplement called Super C. They have some citrus oils that are infused in those tablets, and they have found that the vitamin C is more bioavailable or basically better. Like I said, you can also, people like to put a drop of peppermint in their brownies or, you know, infuse some essential oil into their tea. There's all kinds of ways that you can use our Vitality line. So recap for a second here. If you like notes, these are like bullet points that you could write down if you want to. Um, essential oils are the lifeblood of plants. They can nourish and heal our bodies. Young Living is the most transparent company there is and the highest quality you can get. Their oils work amazingly well. Their company is transparent, generous. It's awesome. You can use essential oils to help you with short game, health inconveniences, and long game health challenges. And you can use air oils aromatically through the air, topically on your skin, and internally, or the short way, in, on, and around your body. Okay, so... I talk about this a lot whenever um, I'm talking with friends about like good changes that we're trying to make in life, right? Have you heard the analogy of baby steps, taking baby steps, whether it's towards a physical goal or a health goal or a financial goal or just getting your laundry put away, right? So when we're looking at our bodies and health, what is a good baby step that we can start with? Reading your labels is one for sure. But what comes after that? So for our family, three or four years ago, when we were going through that domino effect of winter illness, we were not at that time really investing energy or money into our health. We were not. But that doesn't mean we weren't spending money. We were spending money, but we weren't investing it. And let me explain that. So basically, when we, we were just being reactive. Like if we got sick, we'd run out to the drugstore to get whether it was a prescription or more cough drops or some over-the-counter thing that had inevitably expired. Um or maybe we were not having as much money come in because we had to call off work, for example. So we had to look at what were we really prioritizing? 
um, what was important to us. We, for example, did make investments in keeping our cars running. Um, we knew we had to plan time and money for oil changes, for tire rotations, for unexpected maintenance, but we weren't doing that with our body, which is crazy because you can buy another car, but you can't buy another body. Um, and I can't tell you how grateful I am. I have been over the past year that it was two or three years ago that we really started making an investment. And what that looked like for us, like I said, was one, using things we already had, and two, taking the time to learn and spending the money on products that actually benefited and worked with our bodies. Stuff like our toothpaste and our lotion and our dental floss, things that we were already buying, but that has traditionally, when you buy it at the store, ingredients that fight against our body. Now we buy those products with ingredients that help our body and I can't, I don't think I could put a dollar amount on how much it's been worth to not be sick all the time. Um, one of the best baby steps you can take today is by getting started with our premium starter kit, which comes in, a, I slid this off. It's a little box. It looks, it looks just like this. This slides off of it. It's beautiful. It comes with 12 essential oils and the diffuser of your choice. This is, this is 10 because there's some more under here. Um, sorry, I don't mind that's like falling all over the place as I hold it up. <laughs> um, but this is your best starter wellness toolbox that there is. You know, if you were going to move into a new house or do a home renovation, you'd buy a toolbox, right? You would not just buy one hammer and one screwdriver because you're going to need way more than that, whether it's home maintenance or you're doing a full renovation. So whether your health goal is short game or long game, this is the toolbox you need. Um, it also includes your lifetime wholesale membership or wholesale discount, shopping discount to anything Young Living makes. Don't let that scare you. There's no membership fees or anything like that. It's free when you get it with one of these starter bundles. So you think, think Costco, right? I shop at Costco for a lot of our family's food, um, but I pay to shop there. I give them money and they give me a card with a bad picture of the privilege to shop there. When you get started with Young Living, you give them money one time, you get all of this and you never have to pay a renewal fee again for your discount. It's wonderful. Um, when you grab your box, there's a little box you're going to want to check that says, yes, make this my first essential rewards order. And that's how you get the biggest bang for your buck when you're switching products out in your house from not from toxic to safe. You're going to get a bunch of free things while doing it. That's how I get that 25% back in points I was talking about. You can buy all the oils in the world you want. You can also buy stuff like your toothpaste, your dish soap, your laundry soap, your hand sanitizer, baby wipes, etc. I have to buy those things somewhere. So Young Living is not necessarily a splurge or an extra from me. It is just a budget transfer. Stuff I used to buy at Target that I have to buy anyway, I buy it from Young Living instead and it's better for me. Um, they bend over backwards to give you things for free, not just with those points back that you earn, but they send free loyalty gifts. And every month they have different promotional levels where for your monthly wellness box that you pick, you pick what things you want to come in it. Um, depending on how much you spend, they'll send you other things for free. That's how I got most of the shelf is from buying stuff like toothpaste and vitamin C and deodorant, but doing it loyally and getting freebies. Awesome. Um, as a perk of being a Young Living member, you can share your referral member number or your referral link with friends if you want to. So I think we can all think of other people who need help with their stress or their sleep or their skin or their immune system. I think everybody wants to feel like they're thriving and not just surviving. So if you're thinking of people right now, or as I go through what some of these toolbox oils can do for you, if somebody comes to mind and you think, oh my gosh, my friend Mary totally needs that for her headache, write Mary's name down and tell her about it. Um, now, Young Living, like I said, they're so transparent, not just in the products they make, but also their business model. If you don't want to share your referral link, don't. It's totally up to you. You're not going to get a better discount or you're not going to be charged something um, just because you don't share. It is there as an option, never a requirement. Um, I have loved doing this. It meets my passions. It's flexible as a mom. 
and I love seeing my friends go from surviving to thriving, um, but it's up to you. It's always an option. How many of you guys know that you need these and you need to use them every day? So this kit is the way I got started. It's actually an upgraded version of what I got started with five years ago. We're gonna fly over what the oils in this kit are good for and how you can use them. Um, I could probably spend a half an hour talking about each one. I'm not gonna do that because I want to honor your time today. If you are able and interested, if you're on this call and you already use oils and you'd like to leave in the chat um, some of your favorite uses, feel free. Um, but the best reason to get started with Young Living within my organization and community is that I will help walk you through how to use the things that you order. You're never going to be stranded out there alone. There are even some Young Living distributors who don't really follow up with people. And I would hate to see um, that happen to you because I don't want people to end up with and that means there is only one ingredient. The other eight are what we call blends, which means there are essential oils from multiple plants. Um, you know, you can think the difference between just cinnamon or a spice mix um, at the grocery store. That's what a blend would be. So the four singles are these four right here. Lemon, peppermint, lavender, and frankincense. Now you'll notice that the lemon and peppermint have that white vitality label. Frankincense and lavender also come in the vitality line. So all four of these, you can use all three ways of using oils. You can use them aromatically, topically on your skin, and you can use them internally as a dietary supplement because lavender and frankincense exist as a vitality oil. So how do we use those? Okay. Lemon is the first oil that I ran out of in my kit because I love how much, how wonderful it smells. I just love the scent of lemon. It is fresh, it is clean, it is sunshiny, it is happy. I diffused it with lavender all the time. Some other ways I know now to use lemon. Lemon is really helpful at detoxifying. I put it in tea. A lot of people like to drink it in their water. Um, you can also use lemon to get sticky stuff or stains off things. For example, I use a couple drops of lemon oil on a paper towel to clean off my whiteboard, and it works way better than the whiteboard spray that doesn't list its ingredients that I bought online to try to take my stains off my whiteboard. Um, next, let's talk about lavender. The smell of lavender is probably one of the things that pushed me to get my starter kit originally. I love love lavender so much. Um, lavender is probably the most popular essential oil that there is, but you need to know that most lavender grown around the world has been genetically modified. Um, Young Living's has not. There are a lot of differences in the seeds and the plants that Young Living uses to what most lavender infused products worldwide are. Um, I love that. Lavender, oh man, you guys, this <laughs> smells so good. I'm ready to dump it on my face. Um, which I could do. <laughs> Lavender is wonderful for relaxing, sleep, soothing. It's also excellent for your skin. Um, I put it, if, if I have a burn, whether it's a sunburn or like if I burn myself on the oven, um, lavender right on it is very helpful. Lavender is all, all, often nicknamed the Swiss army knife of essential oils because it has like 10,000 uses. Um, it's great for boo-boos, itchy things. I use it to help seasonally when I'm having, I call it pollen problems or allergy um, issues. Lavender is great and gentle enough even for your littlest family members, but it even has some immune system boosting properties in it, which is awesome. Okay, peppermint. Peppermint should, peppermint essential oil should smell like a peppermint leaf. It should smell a little bit earthy. It should not smell like a sugary candy cane. Um, peppermint is a go-to for things, aches and pains or itches on my skin. Um, I also like it for focus and refreshment. I use this peppermint vitality in capsules along with lemon and lavender to support my body feeling good during allergy season. Um, peppermint is wonderful if you have nausea. 
I used it a lot during my first trimester in capsules or just in my mouth. It's helpful for digestion and it's helpful for um, symptoms of nausea. If you need a cooling sensation, all of those kind of things. Those are some great uses for peppermint. People love using peppermint for head tension relief. Um, I do suggest diluting it with a carrier oil if you have never tried it before because it is a very cold sensation. Um, I like it on my temples or the back of my neck. My husband thinks it's a little too strong for him and has other things he likes, he prefers for headaches. Um, but many people, this is an amazing helper for head tension for them. Frankincense. Frankincense is one of those biblical oils. Remember I talked about frankincense. If it was good for baby Jesus, it's good for us too, as I like to say. Um, frankincense has so many uses. I could literally spend a whole class on it, but to narrow it down, frankincense is really good for the cells in our bodies. Um, and our skin is a type of cell in our body that's turning over or regenerating really fast. Our skin cells are often living, dividing, and dying really fast, <laughs> you know? Um, and that's part of the reason frankincense is so good for our skin. The properties in frankincense help the cells in our bodies work normally or work the way they're supposed to. Um, frankincense is also very helpful emotionally. It's really emotionally calming and grounding. I like using frankincense vitality, a drop of it in my mouth if I'm having a very high anxiety day. Um, I also like putting it in my diffuser at bedtime a couple times a week. Um, and it is wonderful for anything funky going on on your skin. It's great for that. So that was our four singles, lemon, lavender, peppermint, and frankincense. And so now we're going to talk about the blends. The first blend I'm going to tell you about is the blend called Thieves. And this is the oil that changed my life. Um, the name Thieves comes from a legend of these thieves, like way back in the 15th century, that were using a blend of different herbs. I don't know exactly how, I don't know if they were eating it or wearing it or what exactly, but the legend has that they were using these herbs to keep themselves healthy as they robbed really sick and dead and dying people. Lovely, right? I don't condone anyone being a thief, but these thieves were caught in exchange for a more lenient punishment. They disclosed the formula they were using. So they were using a combination of lemon, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary. Now this blend thieves has five ingredients those four, lemon, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary, and it also includes eucalyptus, um, which has tons of great immune, support, um, immune system supporting properties. Eucalyptus was not traditionally grown in the same, I think, area of Europe as those other four. So, but all that to say, there is so much literature about what those oils or plant properties can do. If you want to learn it, I suggest going to PubMed and searching the individual ingredients because Thieves is a brand name. So if you go looking for scientific studies on Thieves, you're not going to find them. But if you look for scientific studies on what clove essential oil does to viruses, for example, you will find a ton. Um, Young Living has an entire Thieves line of products. Um, this includes the cleaner I talked about earlier. Um, we have Thieves Dental Floss, Mouthwash, Hand Sanitizer, um, toothpaste, laundry soap, dish soap. My family uses all of those, you guys. Thieves, getting it in, on, and around our body multiple serving, multiple times a day will serve you so well. I can tell you this from experience. Changed my life. So we use it multiple times a day. We make rollers like this that we use every night before bed. And we use this as germ fighting power in all those other products that we need to use anyway, right? Um, we want some germ killing powder or power in, in our dish soap and our mouthwash and our laundry detergent, but I wanna make sure it's actually good for my body. This has got that vitality label, right? So if you can ingest it, it's pretty safe used in the right quantities, right? Um, one of the ways I like to teach about how the oils and thieves work is imagine that you are imagine that you are at a club or an event and they have a guard or a bouncer at the door, right? Thieves is my immune system's bouncer at the door, meaning it keeps my body from being flooded by germs. And when germs do sneak through, it runs after it and takes it down. <laughs> um, I cannot post a bunch of this 
on social media because the FDA will come at me, but I have done the research and basically the oils in thieves help keep viruses and bacteria from multiplying and spreading. So that's what I mean when I say they'll stop it from coming in and they'll go after it and chase it down. Um, again, like I said, I have to be very careful about how I talk about that, but this is a private Zoom call. So I am sharing with you my personal research, not any claims that Young Living attempts to make, but that is why our family has had that life change and that is why we use it every day. Okay, so that's Thieves, my favorite ride or die must have oil of all time. Okay, this blend is called Digize. This is another Vitality label. Digize will make a oil skeptic a believer because it works so well and so fast. This is a blend of multiple different types of herbs, um, herbal essential oils that are excellent for the digestive system. I do not ever put this in my diffuser. I don't think it smells that great, but it works very well. Um, again, when I was in my first trimester of pregnancy, it was helpful for nausea. Um, whatever you've got going on, tummy trouble. I'm like feeling my tummy. You guys can't even see it. Tummy troubles. Um, Digize will be your friend, whether your problem is illness or too fast or too slow, or you're just nauseated on a long car trip. Um, I suggest putting this either in a capsule and swallowing it, a drop straight in your mouth or rubbing it on your belly in a clockwise direction. All things digestive, it is extremely helpful for. This next one is called Pan Away. Um, it takes your pan away. So basically it helps with aches and pains. I pretty much just use this oil topically, um, but one way that I do use it topically is I mix it with some, ex I mi bleh, mix it with some Epsom salts and pour the Epsom salts into the bathtub. Um, if you're going to use oils in the bathtub, don't just drip them on top of the water because they'll just float there and they might irritate your skin. Mix them with some plain unscented Epsom salts first and then mix that into the water. Um, Panaway is awesome if you've got some injuries from a workout. Um, I use it on my belly for menstrual cramps. If you have anything that is sore, inflamed, irritated, Panaway is your friend. Um, it does have a child safety cap on it because it should not be ingested. It would be harm, potentially harmful and concerning if a child ingested a whole bottle of this. So that's why it has a safety proof cap. Um, I see a couple things happening in the chat about Digize. Yes, Christy says Digize is one she hasn't opened. Well, hopefully that means you haven't needed it. But next time you have tummy troubles, that'll be your go-to. Yes, Abby says, yeah, the smell is like kind of gross at the beginning, but then once you've used it, you sort of associate that smell with relief. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, thank God <laughs> when you put it on. Um, like that post-Thanksgiving dinner overeating feeling, that's something that dye dries topically on your belly will help so much with. Um, this next blend, this one is called Raven. Starts with the letter R, like the bird, Raven. Um, it also has a child safety proof cap on it because this should also not be ingested. Um, Raven is great for respiratory support. Whether you are under the weather or not, any, if you would like help or support breathing, it's going to be very helpful for that. So some people like to apply it before they work out, for example, to help them just get a deeper breath. Some people like to mix it with coconut oil and use it as a non-toxic chest rub if they're under the weather or diffuse it. Um, even diffusing it with thieves is really helpful, for example. Um, if you are feeling kind of stuffy, Raven is your friend. This next blend is called Citrus Fresh, and this is a Vitality label. It's a mix of spearmint and a bunch of different citrus oils. Um, it's a very uplifting and cheerful scent, similar to lemon. You can use it for a lot of the same things you could use lemon for, but um, I like mixing Citrus Fresh in perfume blends. I like putting it in the diffuser as a pick-me-up. It's also one that a lot of people like in their water. Um, it helps you stay hydrated. It's good stuff. So we have three more blends to talk about, and these last three are really helpful emotional tools. Now, some of the oils that I mentioned can also be helpful with your emotions. For example, frankincense, lemon, lavender. But these last three, their primary goal is to help us emotionally. Now, a lot of people think of their mental or emotional health as separate from our physical health, but it's really quite connected. Because think about this. If we're really stressed, how does our body respond? I think we all know this, right? If we're really stressed, maybe we have a headache. Maybe we have a tummy ache. 
maybe we are more likely to catch an illness, right? Um, if we are under physical stress, like maybe if we get hurt or we're sore, sometimes we can be kind of emotionally grumpy, right? They go back and forth. They really play hand in hand. Um, so if we have healthy ways to manage our stress, that will help our physical body stay healthier as well because our mental health and physical health are connected. So let's talk about these three. This first one is our blend called Stress Away. Stress Away smells like vacation in a bottle. It is a blend of vanilla and lime and a couple other oils, including I think cedarwood and aquatea. It smells like vacation in a bottle. It is one of my seven-year-old's favorite oils. It is, the name's pretty straightforward. It helps decrease our stress. And how does this work? Well, the same area of our brain that think that works on emotions and memories is the same area that recognizes and kind of tells our body when we inhale scents. So that's why we have memories attached to certain smells. Like maybe if you visit your parents' house and your mom's making chocolate chip cookies or a certain cologne reminds you of a certain person. Those things are all connected in our brain. And so that is how using essential oils and the smells they give can help us with our emotions and mental health. Stress away is awesome. I love it in the diffuser. I love it rolled on. I love it in the bathtub. Uh, this next one is peace and calming. Peace and calming smells so good. It's probably one of my top three favorite essential oils. It is very gentle. You can even use it undiluted on like your teeniest baby to your oldest grandma. Um, it's one that I like to keep a roller top on. I keep it in my car for if my kids are throwing car tantrums. I pass it back and say, roll this on your chest. And often it helps them just kind of decompress, gather themselves when it comes to tantrum, these stuff. Um, it's one of my favorites for occasional stress and anxiety. I like it topically and I like it in my diffuser. I use it multiple times a week at bedtime. And this last oil that comes in the kit is called Valor. Um, I might have saved one of the best for last. Valor is wonderful at instilling feelings of confidence. Um, it's very uplifting. It's very balancing on the emotions. It's extremely helpful for feelings of occasional anxiety or depression. It's perfect if you have something out of the norm, like a public speaking event or a job interview. I roll it on my kids like for their first day of school or their first day of swim lessons. Um, but honestly, if you just need an extra boost to face your day, Valor is your friend for that too. You do not have to save it for some special occasion. Some people also like Valor for sleep. Christy says Valor is her favorite. Valley, Valor is wonderful. It's um, got a blue tinge to it. You can kind of see this on the top because it has an oil called Blue Tansy. Um, and it also, some people like to use it for sleep as well. I think that's what I was going to say. Um, so that is the 12 oils that come in this kit. It comes with a couple other goodies as well. It comes with two packets of this drink, which is called Ningxia Red. Um, Ningxia Red is one of the other things that changed my life. Um, I could teach a whole class on Ningxia Red, but in short, Ningxia Red is a superfood. Um, the primary ingredient in it is the wolf berry or the goji berry. It tastes great, you guys. I waited like a year or two to try this out of my original box because I was like, I don't know if I'll like it. Stupid. Don't be like me. <laughs> if you have packets at home now, drink them. Um, it's so good. I have multiple videos on my, my social media teaching about Ningxia Red and some of the things that our family has experienced. But like I said, it's a superfood. Um, it's extremely high in antioxidants. That means it's very good for our body from the inside out. My kids drink it. My husband, who's a doctor, drinks it. We drink it every day. Um, and it, some of the things that's done for us has helped clear up skin problems. It has helped strengthen our immune system. It has helped me cut sugar cravings. And it has helped give us more energy. It is wonderful. We will not go back to life without it. Um, the last two things are, remember how I said we have that whole line of thieves items. So you are going to get Thieves Hand Sanitizer, which in some boxes, I think it's coming in little sample packets and not bottles right now, and a Thieves Spray. Hand sanitizer, use it like hand sanitizer and be blown away that it's the best hand sanitizer you've ever used. One, a little goes a long way. You do not need very much. Two, it's infused with aloe, so it is not drying and harsh on our hands. Three, it does not contain any nasty chemical fragrances that are bad for your body. Um, and... 
it has that thieves blend. So it's helping your body fight and helping your immune system work without foreign invaders. Um, the alcohol that is in this, it's an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, as all hand sanitizers should be. The alcohol in this is actually distilled from peppermint plants. Crazy. I love that. Um, but that is also one of the reasons it's better for our body and not as drying as like typical other alcohols that are in hand sanitizer. Now, Thieves Spray. Sometimes people think this is just a mini version of Thieves Cleaner. It's not. It's actually different. Thieves Spray is 70% alcohol based. So this is your disinfectant. When I say you don't need cleaning, like chemical cleaning wipes anymore, you don't. You just need some Thieves Spray. Thieves Spray is great on the go for things like gas pumps, grocery carts, hotel remotes, toilet seats if you want. Things that you want disinfected but safely, that's what you're going to want to use Thieves Spray for. Um, I'm home a lot right now, so frankly, I'm not disinfecting tons. I'm more cleaning, so I'm using our Thieves Cleaner more often, but my husband uses this at his work computer station at work um, and stuff like I mentioned already, grocery carts, things like that. This is a great option for that. Um, the last thing you get in here, which these were on here, you get two roller tops. You might've seen on my stress away and peace and calming. I put roller tops right on these. Um, you get two roller tops on your, in your kit so that you can pick some oils that if you just want to use it topically right off the bat, you can. Um, and we are getting ready to wrap up with like the formal part of this. I will, um, stop the recording in a minute here and take questions if anyone has them, but Ultimately, I just want to say, if you are here watching this today, whether it's live or it's on the replay, I fully believe that it's for the reason, for a reason. It's not a coincidence. Somebody, whether it was me or somebody else that invited you, cares very deeply about you and for your health. We want you to thrive and not just survive. Um, please, if you don't already have somebody that you're connected with to get these resources, please reach out to me. I have a special deal that I will offer to you just for the next two days. Um, you're going to be so blessed by how these products transform your life. Um, when I say survive to thrive, I mean it. Um, there is nothing like feeling that your body is doing and working, doing what it's supposed to and working the way God made it. Um, even in a society that has lots of stressors and toxins. Um, it is the best to feel equipped and ready and have tools when we are coming across stressors and junk that we can't control. So I cannot wait to hear some of your stories. I know you will have them. Um, take the baby step today and get started. Or if you already have these products in your home, take the next step and figure out how you can use them and implement them regularly into your life. It will change your life and you will not regret it. I know it. I am going to stop this recording for now so that I can take questions for people who are here live. Thank you for being here.